to get in. And if they have got a fair bit of lockdown, of course, between the Shaker and the line, which I imagine would be enough mm. for uh, them to take down uh, a faceless void within the duration, if they can uh, time them correctly. Well, they're going to try again, and here we go. We're going to see it in action, and yeah, more than Jeez. enough damage. Great play, great control from VP. Yapsil's actually come into this one, and now he's going to go for the black hole on FNG. Knows that Lower Dance hasn't got any disabled. In fact, he can't get close enough, so they will get the kill with that one. And Lower Dance still hiding in the tree line now. Midnight Pulse, and well, we talked about Yapsil's Enigma play, how we can expect good things, and thanks to this man, he's just set up potentially two kills with a fairy fire. Oh, bro, it's in. Nice brain sap from the purple bastard. Okay, Stun's gonna miss here on Kezu, so he'll be fine. Uh, that's way too aggressive. I was gonna say, Kezu's just gonna turn a chrono that every time, and with Vera there. Oh, that's a lovely finger! Alara does, does get the void as he tries to go for a drive bite. He will pay with his life. So all in all, I mean, that was the Ember just sticking around too long, going a bit too ham. Aloha Dance kind of rectifies it by getting very quickly. Oh, five seconds, and there's a tier two to TP in. Uh, Yapsor smoked up. Does have that black hole. That yeah, grip. Yeah, he's trying to go for it here. The grip is uh, indeed onto G, but there'll be an echo slam coming out from FNG. They've already lost Gino on the OT. And oh, there's your black oh. hole. It's a three hero black hole. It's beautiful, but they do lose error. They don't have the damage follow up the side of No Diggity. And now VP still looking strong with the chrono coming through with Kesu again. Where's the damage to throw in? They will get a deafening blast through, but Loa does. He's still alive. He gets the sun out to Kesu. Yoku moving in with a flame guard. They found themselves a third kill. It's it, They do find two in return. They've Want to try and find a lower dance moving forward, but a lower dance pops the one charges. He's going to be fine, and now Kezu's deep. Kezu may be in a spot above her. He's got another time walk. FNG holding on to his spells at the moment, trying to get the perfect time. He knows he's going to time walk again in a second, and now. Now, can they go for this? I mean, Kezu, he's deep. He's granting space as much as he can, but now the initial head stun has been caught out now with the hex as well. They'll get it. I mean, no diggity. It was a fantastic black hole. Anything with five men where they're going to be pushing oh, the base? Oh, and again, Fisher into the line initiation. The BM Echo Slam. Clipping the Invoker. Now they'll get the Chrono out. What can they throw into this? They do have a black hole available, but they don't need it. Fiend's Grip onto FNG. They get themselves one. The time dilation causing havoc for a lower dance. They do take down the line as well. Again, though, it is a trade. When we're looking at like a triple blink lineup with an Ember Spirit as well. Oh, Aloha Dance jumps in with the Hex onto Kezu. You got G working on Sin on the back line. Sin turns around, pops the Fiend's Grip, but Sin, he gets taken down. Now your Black Hole is onto G. They're looking to control the Odin there. We'll take him down. It's a good Black Hole. It's a big kill. And now no Diggity moving for more. They get the Yules onto Yoku. Yoku, can he get himself out of this one? Who have the control to deal with him? Doesn't look like they do. Yoku will be able to walk this off. Kezu, still lining it up. Use five seconds and it's there. It's there now. He can find a big chrono. And he will. It's the three man chrono. The meteor coming down as well. Tefening blast onto Yoku. Yoku, he's down. 70 seconds. Fees rip from Sin, holding no fear in place. But now the BKB. OG trying to turn around. He'll blow up the void with the Sanity's Eclipse. No fear. Jumping himself away. Will be fine. G still contemplating going back in on this one. It's just a one for one at the moment. But that is Yoku gone. Quite a high damage. Oh, oh FNG jumping in onto Arrow with the Echo Slam. The feature as well. Yapsil pops the BKB, starts to run. But FNG really just going ham at these points where it counts and no fit, just left alive. He blinked up alive. Tornado to initiate into the Sunstrike. Yeah. And then the line was able yeah, to walk yeah, off. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, that's why. That's why he lived. I suppose he could have used Deafening as well. Oh, Crown onto G. We saw this before. It's a big kill if they can get it. They look to have the damage. G, deafening blast. He's got the Aegis this time around. Kezu, Hex up on the front line. Guarding Grease find him sometime. The defensive nightmare for Sin. Kezu, he's going to be alright. Sin, he saves the void. G now being black hole. They'll get the kill onto the OD. FMG pops the Echo Slam. Will manage to know. He's in trouble as well. It's no dignity just chasing them all out of the base. They've got the Yules onto a lower dance. He'll go Scepter himself out. Trying to walk away. Yoku's still there. Turning around with a slight fist. But Era, looking to get the damage onto No Fear. Can't quite get the attack speed through the untouchable. Oh, here we go. No diggity coming round. FNG pops down the Fisher. Echo Slam onto Kezu with a black hole from Yapsil. Grabs two of them in. The Meteor comes flying through. They've found themselves two kills off the back of that one. No diggity. Now they're trying to chase for more. The Tornado flies through. G not messing around. Pops the BKB, but the Chrono cancelling the TP. Great play from Kezu. They're closing in on the OD as the four of them ready to set in, ready to take him down. He'll Astral himself by blink. himself sometime. There's five arrows around him. You can see Sin and trying to buy spice oh. on the time, trying to predict where Blinks to. It doesn't matter. Oh, oh maybe it does. Sanity's comes out. G will take down Kezu. But it's all right at the end of the day for no diggities. They still find but the FNG kill. And G. 
Putting some pressure on. I want to see the jump in. And this initial stun onto Doug Fan. Whoa, goodbye, Ench. Goodbye, Ench. Yep. Error, just not messing around today. Pops the BKB, rips rips the Dota shreds. And this tier two is going to be shortly following as well by the looks of it. They'll actually pop the fourth for this. And Nadigati may be having a chance to push on for more. G, still pushing in top, trying to force them back. The Chrono uh -oh. coming out. Is it going to catch anyone? In fact, the Deafening Blast well. It doesn't matter if he gets pushed into the Chrono, that line. He's dead already. Yeah, Aloha Dance is gone. Let's see what they can do to, to hold this one back. They'll send Kezu in. Of course, no Chrono at the moment. Actually jumping forward now. Oh, FNG with the Echo Stab for the Absor. Gets the Black Hole onto two. Kuiper with the position. He drops the Ice Wall. Kezu coming back with a Bastion onto GG. Will banish the Void. Putting him into the Astral. Sin moving in as well. They're low on mana. Can they do anything to finish this one off? FNG falling low on the base. He'll go in G as well. They get both the kills, no diggity hold the base. In, haven't quite reached that level 16 mark. Well, it's what happens when you 5 mana ton and you don't win any team fights. Kezu, he's gonna get jumped on it, but oh yes, oh, oh it's a 3 man black hole, G! No, Philona's getting racked in, and then the Chrono, the follow up as well! Oh, oh, oh. oh, BB! You've just been had! Absolutely! Absolutely done in. to do. You kind of want the blink still. I mean, 30 seconds without this OD and straight away. No digs. They know that they've got to use this to try and find one. They do. They get the Chrono onto no fit. And she's down. Tier 3 as well. Looks like they've got a good chance of finding these racks here. FNG jumps in with the Echo. Catching out quite for as well. But now Sin keeping quite for alive with the Nightmare. He'll use himself up. He's going to be fine. Gleeks brings down FNG on the Shaker. Yoku comes back in. Does manage to get Invoke across the back of this one. But Kezu gets the kill. Now, Yoku, he's not done. Knows he needs to peel something big out of the bag. Will get the kill onto Sin. That is a dieback from your Bane. And gee, he's now back. They're looking to hold this. They haven't lost the racks. They'll see if they can get Kezu. He pops the BKB. Time walks himself up. But gee, Yoku jump forward. They will take him down. That's going to be the gem on the deck. Maybe catch VP off guard. Okay, Ench. Oh, error. Eating his dog in front of his owner. That's just messed up, actually. Ooh, G jumps in with a hex on Terra. BKB's a pop. Yapsaw turns around, gets the black hole onto G now. Error from the sidelines, dealing the damage in error. And he's going to find the kill. G's gone. And at the same time, on the sideline, Koifo and Kezu dismantling the rest of EP. They're going to find FNG here as well. Refresher pop by Yapsaw, blinking forward. Holds onto the black hole. Doesn't quite manage to catch out Ember. They do have no to continue this pressure. They'll take themselves the bottom racks here. We'll see how much VP are willing to let them uh, let them take before the buyback does come out. Tier 3 dropping incredibly fast. I want to try and get some impetus onto Error now. FNG with the slam. Yabs or Black Hole catches FNG and no fear. The Chrono for as well. He's going to catch Yoku on the sidelines. FNG full of G. He's back in the fight. They rule his FNG. G gets the X on to Kezu. Kezu's gone. Yabs as well. Double kill for G. He might just find more coins, but he's gone out. There's three dead on no diggity. Zeno is trying to run, trying to hide. G just fought. He gets Nightmare up for VP. They're chasing him down. They're going to get a bait kill as well. It's a buyback from Yabs or. But oh, Yabzor needs to be careful. Oh, Yabzor, this is a buyback. He can't fall. He cannot go down now, Yoku. He's jumped in the green support, Yabzor. Oh, man. 26k gold and cash saved and unused. That's a bit like uh, a Team FNG. Secret situation. Well, oh, okay. That's going to be one down, two down. That and, was... uh, well, let's see what else they can find off the back of this. No fear as well. Three hits from Error. It's a triple kill. The Chrono onto G. They'll move in for more. They can... Well, they'll get it. They're all going to have to buy back. Well, the line does not have buyback available. All right. Their team is, is pretty good against Megas, I guess. Okay, Kezu BKB and in, jumping straight forward, gets the Chrono onto FNG. There'll be a buyback from G here. Oh. The Yaps on Black Hole onto G. Aloha Dance is about the Deafening Blast flies for Aloha Dance. Got G. He's still alive. Gets the Hex onto Quai Bell for the second Black Hole onto the OD. He's gone. And now the rest of the side. Oh, that Chrono onto three. Tornado flies through the all here. This can be it for VP. They've lost three. They've lost Yoku. He'll buy back. FNG's going to fall as well. Rapier's hit the deck. What can Yoku do? He's still got those backup rapiers. It's a lot of damage. But can he really hold this game for the good 60 seconds or so before the rest of the team goes back on Mole? Maybe with kills like that, he can. Clinks has been dropped. Yoku holding on. They can I mean, defend are they, against oh, they jumping in? Sin, he's in trouble. And he's going to get taken down. The Chrono from Kezu coming out to two. A lower dance. G caught in it, but G got the BKB off. 
Cinnamon does not have buyback. He will be dead for 100 seconds now. Oh, the Echo! Also, cares with the control as well. They want to get the Rapier back, and they're going to get it! He's gone. The Void is down. In fact, oh, they'll leave the Rapier there. Just get pinged out. They're all... Kezu even has the second Sphere up in 10 seconds. Yeah. So. so he's not even had to pop his Refresher. And whilst in, he's going straight in with the PKB. The Fiend's group onto No Fear. No Fear will get forced back. There'll be a buyback from G. And you can see at the moment, Era, he's just looking for the tier fours. He's managed to take down one, and now oh. Chronos Fear from Kezu onto 3G. Jumps in on the backline. BKB, Sanity's Eclipse, finds the kill of Terra. Cinema pops the G. Cinema was going to be fine. Kezu pops the BKB. The definitely was required for coming through. They found no fit. They found a lot of He's found FG as well. FG will buy back. So strike onto G. Hexed up. G. He's going to put himself in the Astral for the time being. But now the Ancient is under pressure. Under Siege, FG jumps in with the Echo onto Koifa. The right clicks coming through for no fit, but Koifa Ghost Walks. He's going to be able to keep himself alive. FG Ghost Scepter's up. For the tornado for Poiper, comes through, on to two Kesu, looking for the kill, gets it, FNG, that's the time, back, don't fit, forcing Poiper back, will fight the kill to the Evoker, and still Yoku is alive, he's still holding the moment, but now it's the final black hole, on to G, Yoku X up, he's gone, he's done for it, GG, well played, is cool, and no dignity, take the game, 88 minutes in, but you, you certainly can't type in the, in the chat at the end of that one, he's dead, because that was certainly not an easy game. I think that, honestly, VP, the fact that they were able to hold on as long as they were is because of a couple Ooh. of reasons. One, No Diggity's lineup, we talked about its defensive capability, but in terms of overall push, it wasn't really that good.